Because of the audio problems in the last video, here's a summary of that episode for any of you that didn't watch. I dropped all of my Tutorial Island items and walked to BA from Castle Wars. I spooned an Iron Mace on 1KC, demolished Minarch with said Mace, trained woodcutting with an Iron Axe, got level 4 Healer and level 2 Defender, then started gambling. In total, I did 33 low gambles and got the Rune Axe and Addy Square Shield. I bought the Fighter Torso, Runner Hat, Penance Gloves, and Runner Boots. Pause if you need. Here are the stats and a graphic that represents the progress I made in Episode 1. Here is Part 1 of the rules and Part 2 of the rules. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Penance Chunk. First, I just wanted to say thanks so much to all of you for your support on the first episode. Again, I'm very sorry for the audio quality in that one, but I think it's fixed now. I've got a lot to show you, so let's go. Starting off with 67 woodcutting. At 33 low gambles, I now have the rune axe and dagger and have completed the required low gambles in this chunk. Now that I've finished low gambles, I'll be working on getting level 5 rolls and then high gambling. I've got to get back to my team right now though. Now that I've finished that round, I'm going to test out the new dagger. The DPS plugin shows about a 25% increase in DPS, so my XP per hour will be going up. This plugin doesn't count poison damage either, so the prayer XP will go up by slightly more than that. There's 36 Strength, level 5 Healer. Since getting 45 Defense and some armor on my back, it's been a lot easier to find teams, so I've been playing more BA. Here's a quick montage of all the roll levels I've been grinding out. I'm now level 5 in Healer and Defender, 3 in Collector, and 2 in Attacker. 22 Prayer. 68 Woodcutting, Level 3 Attacker, Lucky Level 13 Fishing from our Cat Overlord. I always set it at 69. <laughs> nice. Level 4 Collector. A Mind Goblin gives me more thieving experience. Thirty-seven strength. Level five collector, only attacker left now. Level thirty-eight strength. Thirty-nine strength. Forty-two hit points. I'm getting beefy. It's a bummer to see stuff like this, because BA is actually a very deep game, and if you take the time to learn it, it's some of the most fun you can have in OSRS. Anyways, that's 40 Strength. 23 Prayer. And 41 Strength is in the chat. 42 Strength. Our max hit on Aggressive is now up to 8. Here's level 4 attacker. Forty-three hit points. Forty-three strength. I've been gambling behind the scenes, but I'll show all of them at the end. These sharks are my first real food on the account. Before I could use a rare cooked meat from Minarch and the occasional scrap from random events. Now I can train my combat stats consistently without having to wait to regenerate hit points. Also, I got this agility potion from Dr. Jekyll on mobile, so I'm ready for the rocks when I get there. 70 woodcutting. Nice, that didn't take too long. This is a huge upgrade over the Addy Square, but I'll need to finish getting 50 defense and strength to wear it. Level 5 attacker, that's all rolls done now. Wow, I was just banking some logs and saw this king found his queen at 81 GC. That's some nutty luck. 24 prayer. Forty-four strength. Forty-five strength, which is a max hit of eight on all styles now. 
71 wood cutting. 44 HP. 46 defense and 300 total. I forgot to do this before. Reading the blackboard after getting level 5 in all rolls is required to complete the Elite Diary task. With the sharks and the shield under my belt, I'm ready to delay a few gambles to buy the rest of the Penance armor set. Twenty-five prayer. Forty-seven defense in the chat. I hit the gem drop table. Rune javelins are one in sixteen k. That's crazy. I got it at fifteen eighty-one kills in rune light, not counting mobile KC. I can't see my legs, but I have 48 defense now. 45 hit points. 26 prayer. 49 defense. 50 defense. Now we just need 50 strength and we can equip the granite shield. 46 hit points. I'm reaching critical mass. 72 woodcutting. 46 strength. Torstals. We can trade these to Dr. Jekyll for stamina potions. Just three hours after getting Torstals, and we get our first stamina potion on the account. 27 prayer. Got 47 strength in Australia. 48 strength. 47 hit points. That's the last level I'll get off of finishing the 50 strength requirement for the chunk. 28 prayer. 49 strength. Another Bob random, and two more fishing levels. Fifteen now. Fifty strength. I can say goodbye to Minarch now and focus on Barbarian Assault. Seventy-three woodcutting. Seventy-four woodcutting. In Australia. I did a lot of woodcutting while editing episode 1 and got pretty lucky with the XP randoms. A lamp on thieving. A book makes 3 thieving. Missed a big level, 75 woodcutting there. Not only is there a surprisingly interesting metagame beneath the surface of BA, the community is a fun place to hang out and meme in silence. Seventy-six woodcutting. Still getting two levels per event. That's seventeen fishing. One genie. And another one. Back to back. Couple of woodcutting levels here. Just got a tooth half from Niles, which is pretty rare. 79 woodcutting. Another mystery box gives... an onion. We can get a little cooking XP off this, but not much else. Since getting elite clues from high gambles, I've looked into the nearby steps. I don't really have a hope of completing a full clue anytime soon, but I could get a coordinate step and farm the Armadillion and Bandosian guards. It's a long shot to unlock the right chunks, but there are four steps I'm looking at. Two steps are on Nay It's Not. For these, I'll need to complete Verminic Trials and unlock multiple island chunks to access the Verminic Isles. One is in the Mountain Camp, which at first seemed promising, but I need a rope for that one, and that's going to be hard to come by. The last one is in the Polar Hunter area. Ideally, I want this step, as there are no additional requirements to get there, and they're all going to require at least some luck to roll the right chunks. 
This nay it's not step feels nice to have, but I'm still looking to replace it with a better one. 80 woodcutting, and yet another book is for thieving. And there's 81. Right, so I just had a couple things happen on mobile. Um, as you can see, I've got this book of knowledge here. So I'm going to go ahead and use that on thieving. Get a 60 experience that puts us at less than 40 to level. So even a genie will get us level five now. Coming up in levels. And then I've got 99 bird's nests here. And uh, I accidentally opened my very first bird's nest before I decided to start saving these up. So this is actually 100 seeds nests that I've gotten in 81 woodcutting. So I'm going to go ahead and take that banana tree seed out now. If I can find it, there it is. And I'm going to open up all these bird's nests, probably about 10 at a time, because I imagine there's going to be a lot of stacks going here. Okay, so it's not bad. No magic seeds. I get those from uh, Gambles, though. So that's the final loot there from 100 birds, birds' nests. Um, I think that I, I don't know how to feel about this, really. I think I feel pretty good about the seeds that I got. Um, I have no idea what kind of experience this will get me. I made some shady assumptions on the spot in the background, but while editing, I saw how wrong that all was. I went down the rabbit hole on this. Papayas, palms, and magic trees will never die because I have access to their payment method. The disease rate for fruit trees and maple trees has been published by JMods, so I calculated the chances that those trees would survive with regular compost. For oaks and willows, I referenced BuzzRS's Supreme One Chunk Account spreadsheet, which has enough data on composted oaks and willows for me to use his numbers as an estimate. Yew trees are a big question mark, as Buzz has only planted two of those, and the disease rate is unknown. I'll be using super compost on these, and I'm taking a shot in the dark saying that 80% of the super composted yew trees will survive. I took these survival rates and calculated the expected experience per seed. Then I consulted the seed nest table on the wiki, and using the drop rates listed there found the expected experience per nest. In the end, I should expect 1,727.1 experience per nest with magic seeds, and 1,658.3 experience without using magic seeds. I calculated both numbers because I realized if I don't get any dragon fruit tree seeds from nests, then it isn't actually a requirement per my rule set that I plant one. Bird's nests are not chunk specific, so I don't have to plant a dragon fruit tree unless I receive the seed from a nest. Accounting for a plus 3 boost from a garden pie from implings, I'll need 942 nests for 78 farming, or 541 nests for 72 farming. At my current rate of getting seed nests, I can expect 553 nests from 99 woodcutting. So if I don't pull any dragon fruit tree seeds on the way to 99, I'll be set with just woodcutting seeds. If I do pull one, I have no worries, because based on the drop rate for the Penance Queen, I'll have gotten 927k experience from Palm and Magic Seeds. That much experience, combined with the nests, should get me to 79 farming. Another level, 82 woodcutting, makes 333 total. Eighty-three woodcutting. Editing episode 1 took a while. This genie makes 5 thieving, though. 84 woodcutting. You've seen 333 total level, but were you expecting that total XP? There's 6 thieving. Everybody say hi to be a chunk man. Missed another big one. 85 woodcutting in the chat. Meat pie from the sandwich lady is actually really good. If I eat this, I now have a pie dish I can use to train cooking in the future, and at some point I'll need to get 80 for sharks. If 
50k willows in the bank, and a final woodcutting level to send us off at 86. There's one more genie, now let's talk high gambles. Here's a look at the drop table. To complete the chunk, I'll need a granite helmet, coins to buy the granite body, and of course the elusive pet penance queen. Dragon bones will make good prayer XP right away, and there are a lot of other useful items that I'll be stocking up on for future grinds. There are 200 gambles coming, feel free to skip to the next chapter if you don't want to see them all. Runite ore means I'll need 85 smithing in the future, and 99 smithing once I get an anvil. You can tan hides in the ranging guild east of here, so at some point I'll need 84 crafting for a black dragon hide body. Magic logs means 87 fletching and 75 fire making, but those shouldn't be a problem with how many willows I've stashed. Wasn't recording 11, I got 38 unicorn horns. Torstal Seeds means 85 farming is in my future. Gamble 30 is missing, sorry. The Granite Helm is part of the collection log. Coins! Let's buy and equip the Granite Body. That's another task completed. Now we just need the pet. I already had some from random events, but diamonds are a 70 crafting grind for the amulet. A rune kite shield is not considered a best slot by my rules, but does have better melee defenses than granite. This is also the last standard loot from high gambles I haven't gotten yet, so the table is complete now. That's not a requirement for me, just an observation. Also missed 168, I got coal.
If you skipped ahead, you missed we got the granite helmet and body. I just finished a couple rounds with this guy and did my gambles. When I came back from the willows, I saw he got the pet at 703 GC. Congrats to feel my goods. I forgot to include this at the end of the last video, but here are my music tracks now. I accidentally unlocked Lighthouse in Episode 1. The rest have come from Dying, Random Events, and BA. We got 50 Defense and Strength and equipped some Granite Armor. We obtained the Granite Shield and the rest of the Penance Set. We purchased and equipped a Granite Body and read the Blackboard after obtaining level 5 in all rolls. We finished the BA Log, except for the Pet Penance Queen. Here's our updated graphic, we just have Medium Gamble, Best in Slots, and the Pet Penance Queen left. I'm ending the video off with 14 days and 2 hours played. The melee stats are done, we've got 86 woodcutting, and we gained quite a few thieving and fishing levels from random events this episode. Here are all of the notable items that I've collected thus far in my inventory. It's mostly the items in my graphic, but we also have 53k willows, 9 staminas, and an agility potion from Dr. Jekyll. That's all for today. If you liked the video, please give it a like, and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll link some other content creators in the description. Check them out if you want to see more one-shot content. Bye!